get cozy on the couch, get your popcorn ready. We're about to go see some rare red power plowing action. Enough said, let's go. Nothing beats a welcoming sign like some IH flags are flying. Oh, check this awesomeness out. And he's pulling tandems, man. He's got he's got a five and a six. So there's your 11 bottom plow right there. I was wondering how he was gonna do that. Well, there's your answer and he's getting ready to drop right now. I'm gonna try to walk and chew gum at the same time, but now yeah, there you go, he's, he's dropping them down. He got the first one down in. He's got the Super Chief plow bottoms on there. Let me know if you've ever seen somebody run tandems like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six and five. And there you go, and he's gonna muscle it up, and he's running duels on both sides here. Not the clamp-ons. Yeah. Okay. Dropped him down now. Let me zoom right on out. Nice set. Oh, he's gonna get it now, boy. He needs a little run and start. I don't know. Oh, okay. Picked up the front. Yep, that's a set of 70s right here. Actually, I think they're both 70s, but... There's a set of those uh, for sale today at WTC Auction. Well, the one trip, it trip on you? Well, I think it might have been tripped before he even put them in the ground. I'm gonna go grab the skidler right? I had a couple of them trip last year and had trouble getting them back. I think we can both. I got it up, but it just don't want to, it's really stiff. Them old plows never trip much. So Over when you back up, it's not snapping in? No, it's not going to move. I'll just grab the skidler real quick with a fork and I'll push on it and try to get it to go down. Yeah. And, uh, and go for broke. So that's oh, yeah. a 70 and that's a 70. They're both 70s. Yep, yep. yep. Them, them came from North Dakota. North Dakota. Yep. They got a four, well, that's a five. Five. But they got a four bottom up at WTC today for sale. Yeah. 70. I got another four out in North Dakota sitting there waiting for me. So. Do you really? Yeah. I'll have them all. I got single bottoms at homes, twos, threes, fours. Five. I'll get that four out west, I'll four, five, and six. I see you got the Super Chiefs on there for bottoms. Yeah, that's them plow. Them's original stickers on them plows. Jeez. Look at the on them. <laughs> I'm looking. That, that, that's what that plow I picked that yeah. plow up. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. North Dakota hauled them. My buddies bought, they moved out there and they bought a lot of stuff for me. To peel wheels out of I the I got $150 drum. in the front plow. $300 in the hitch. I found a hitch in Madison, Wisconsin. It's a tandem. That's a special tandem hitch. Not made by International, but it's, it's the bracket's made for International in the rear. Uh, the bolts of the front plow, and then I extended the tongue out in the front one to pull the six behind. You know, you said you were pulling 11 bottoms. Yeah. And I was like, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I'm like, okay. There's a set of tens out there in a, in a flex mount plow for sale, but I don't really want them. I, I like the drag plows and just me. Yeah. Because I pulled the fives I had here first. I right. pulled them with my 650 diesel here. And then uh, once I got the 43, or not quite, I fused the farm with the 43, and then I just bring it here and leave it. Is that a 60 or a 40? 4366. Yeah. Yeah. 4366. 10 speed road ranger transmission. It's got plenty of power to pull this, doesn't it? Uh, I'll tell you what, you get some ground here. There's some, you know, yeah, yeah. I, there's a spot right there where them little tractors are going in now. You get <laughs> far across the field, it gets some gummy there. I've had to drop the third. Usually I run fourth. I can run fifth, but I used to mostly run fourth. It does a nicer job of plowing it too fast, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, you make her, you gotta, you'll see smoke come out of her. <laughs> smoke come out of her. It's cool. It's, yeah. It's about as much fun as I ever had plowing. That's just one of them things, you know. Well, we'll be video and we'll let you get back to. Yeah. Well, and here we are, just a brief overview. These are some of the tractors that will be entering the field, I'm assuming. I cannot see from here. Um, that's going to be interesting. And it's got, uh, man, all the bottoms are kind of mixed together out there, so it's confusing. But, uh, yeah, this is Red Power Central here, Chapter 16, Western Pennsylvania, IHC. Well, Mike, the Madman Mongera, we got a narrow front, 1026, of course, hydro, and it's going to pull 
one, two, three, four, five bottoms. I've never seen one plow, so this is going to be a first for me. It's going to be a first for me for a lot of the reasons. Uh, the 4366 that we just saw pull at 11, that's going to be something. So, yep, get your popcorn ready. We're plowing. All right, we got a 560 with a deer in the rear and uh, three bottoms there. Really nice 560. Heavily weighted in the rear, nothing in the front. It's got the bracket there, but uh, yeah, the old 280, 282 American 282 diesel, 63 horsepower. We'll get to see this turn some dirt. We've got a 1066 here with a one, two, three, four, five bottom semi mount. Um, what a nice setup, man. Just what a nice setup. Looks like he's running 20.838s on there. Oh, it's got the funky numbers. The 520, 85R, 38s. Yeah, I'll bet they're 20.8s. I still can't calculate that. He's got the weight on the side. I wonder if this isn't a puller and a plower. He's going to do some pulling today, and we'll get to see it. Got the ant eater hooked up to some semi mounts. I think these are six bottoms. I think. Wait a minute now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottom. So yeah, we're gonna see the old 3588. A lot of guys are like, oh, yeah, the old two plus two it was a 1086. Made to articulate, but we're gonna see it. Holland. Well, there goes the 1026 to the field right now. All right, here comes a zero zero series, and uh, boy, it's just a turn and getting it. No surprise, red power. Got the right hoodie on too, red. None of it's in the shed. Turning that green right under, he is. Yeah. It'll farm all 300. Sounds great. Greater than great. Yes, sir. He's got that uh, three bottom there. Now, I can't remember. Uh, we do know what model that is. But we got more red power coming. Yes, sir. Listen to that straight pipe. That's not a bark, that's a roar. That's a lion coming down to Delaware. Got the M&W throttle on there. Sounding good, that's a, li that's a little wonder, as opposed to the little genius, little wonder two bottom. Somebody told me at one time when you bought a farm all C, you got those for free at the dealership, so I don't know if there's any truth to that, but check this out. Way down. We got bing, 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 and bing. Four running. Steady pace. And they're coming down to Delaware. None of them wish they had another pair. They're on the right tractor. Turning in green. There we go. Both got what appears to be the chrome stack. Thunderous. Yes, sir. Super C. It looks like he's got a hillside hitch on there. Go over here, we got a, a 230. This is a channel first. There you go, he's cutting, cutting and getting it. Looks like a boy, it looks like a 211 to me. Tell me if that's a 211 or not. Pick that up, that's a 230. Yep, first one ever on the channel. And there he goes. And then right there's the 1026 he's getting ready to make his first cut and that'll be a, a channel premier 
tractor too. So I hear thunder coming. Let's swing over. Oh yeah, check out that 450 wide front. Just barreling through their straight pipe. He's got the 412 highly sought after semi mount four bottom. Got the super chiefs on there. That is an awesome, awesome plow. There's no other way to describe it. I've only ever seen one 412 ever in my life, and it was on the internet. Here we go with the 1026. He's going to make his first pass, first cut. Although the mold boards are shiny, probably plowed somewhere else. Genius, two bottom on rubber. There you go, he's getting ready to trip her. Looks like we got a super MTA coming down the pipe. He's got that front spread out quite a bit, must plow on some hillsides, I'm guessing. Yeah, super MTA, he's got a horn on there. Three bottoms, looks like an Oliver. Yep, Super M, narrow front. Here in the rear, two bottom. Well, your name's Ed, correct? Right. Yep, and we got this 300 plowing at the last, uh, we figured out what that is. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. So, well, anyways, you're going to get caught here. We better get rolling. There you go. We're powering along. Super sea ski. The old hillside hitch there. At least that's what I think it is. Yep, here comes... 230 once again and we're just waiting on that 1026 up there but wow what an awesome machine right there wow he's going deep cutting deep on that you know and what that is right there oh he's got the override clutch overrun clutch on the uh on the pto you can see there the gold color basically a 230 is a modernized 200 and the 200 i guess would be a modernized super c there we go there's the 1026 making the first cut in these corn stalks and he's getting it Just flipping it over, man. <laughs> he just there's a little bit of moisture in the ground. It's kind of chewy and heavy, but it's plowable for sure. There he goes. Where else are you gonna go and see a 1026 turning dirt? Nowhere. Yeah, and he's gonna cut right back into this. Catch him on the flip side. You got a hydro and wondering if it could plow. 
Well, here's your answer. Here we got the 4366. <laughs> and look at the size of that swath. He's turning. Get up close and personal. I don't know, it ain't skipping a beat. There's your 70s. Why pull one when you can pull two? Why farm some when you can farm all? You know, he's got his cover crop here. It's getting turned under. This ground will fool you, though, because you see it's cracked in spots. But yet... It's a little bit wet too, so it's there's pockets here. This, you know, this is good ground. It's flat ground. It's I can see where two days ago they probably wouldn't be plowing. All right, this is going to be your 1066, and I can't remember how many bottoms he's pulling. I want to say six, but either either he's getting it. Red power for days. All right, five bottom. Looks like five eighteen. There he goes. Something in this field is going to grow. Catching the forty three sixty six on the flip side. There and I believe that's Tom Kelly. He's getting it. Jeez. Doesn't take you long to turn the field over with that many bottoms behind you. At all. All right, we're getting a bird's eye view of the mold boards just to turn in in this 4366. Got a 1066 in the rear.
I'm sure there's a few of you that have used these in the past, but not many. And this thing's immaculate. Uh, I give a whole gold mine for this this plow. I really would. Um, geez, I can't say enough about it. I really can. I'm speechless. And when you got farm all fanatic speechless, you you, you did a lot because I I can go on and on and on when it comes to to words. But uh, check this out. Super cheap bottoms. Got the IH sticker on the trash boards. Uh, this is this is shocking. Uh, this is this is exactly the plow. I would most definitely, and I know he's pulling it with a 450, and uh, it's probably given the 450 all she wants, but it wouldn't give my 756 all he wants. So this is, yeah, 412, and the 411 is not semi-mount, and hopefully I got one on the way. Well, I've heard some guys call them anteaters. I've heard some guys call them hard parts. I guess I'll stick with Anteater, 2 plus 2. Get ready to do the do. Well, if you own a farm and you ever want to know where the deer go at night, you got your clover alfalfa and what looks like Timothy mix right there. and I guarantee they're in it. And there's uh, another strip over there of it. So, yeah. We'll catch S1026 coming back, and then we're going to get the 560 right after it. And it's turning around down there. And uh, I'll tell you, this cover crop, it grew, grew quick. Some spots it's knee deep, but no big deal for the 10. Heavily weighted. Excellent setup, perfect setup for it. 125 horsepower, unless it's turned up. There you go. Here comes the 560, and uh, you know, like I say, it's following that 1066 in that deep furrow. And it's heavy ground right now. We've had a lot of rain. Uh, no front weight in the front of that five. That would help, but he's still getting it. He's, he's moving at a decent clip. Oh yeah, he ain't have no problem at all from what I see. 63 horsepower, red power, 560. There you go, three bottom. Check out that site right there, Super MTA. The Oliver, wow. Yeah, the Super M just a barking. Deer in the rear. 1026. MTA IH front end on that looks like. Go 1026. He's gonna dive her down, old Van Halen style. There he goes. We're going to leave you with this footage right here. Straight red power in a field. 
about 15 tractors. I didn't count, but that's my guess, plus or minus maybe a tractor. Check that out. That's just awesomeness packaged into one field. Red power.